What is going on guys? It's Mills here bringing you some fire content on the Fire Day 18 channel and in today's vid I'm gonna be doing a tier ranking list. So this is the same one I believe Tiger 711 used for his vid a couple years ago And so as you can see some of these logos are kind of outdated case in point. Let's go moving forward I want to rank these guys myself and just see how they compare from two years ago Don't worry credit goes below to Tiger 711 for the vid idea because he did it first and yeah, without further ado, we're going to start rating these people. So, this is a huge list. I was on this because I think I was consistent in this time period. This was 2019. So, we're going to start off, start off with A-Train. So, I used to watch this guy's streams a lot. I did look at his viewer count. Obviously, it's gone down a little bit. But I'm not going to put that towards his actual quality as a streamer and YouTuber. And I'm just trying to figure out where I want to put him because... Well, I do like his other content outside of MLB, and he's done some good ones. This is strictly for MLB content itself, and I think for strictly that, he can be kind of entertaining to watch. So I'm gonna put him probably somewhere in the B tier. I like him a bit, he's pretty cool. I enjoy his content whenever I can, and his videos are worth a watch. So next up, PC Reviews. If he was a little more consistent, I'd put him a little higher. He's a great guy though, great person to watch, very fun streamer. If he was a bit more consistent, I would put him way higher on the list, but for now, I'm going to stick him in the C tier area. He's a very fun guy to watch, very chill. So next up is Big Ends Gaming. I do know this guy. He has a pretty solid presence in the community. He's grown his channel a bit. I don't watch his vids too often, to be honest. Not enough to really watch him, so I'm going to put him in the haven't watched enough. Obviously, this could change over time, and it could easily be somewhere in the A or S tier if I really watched him more, but so far, overall, he's in the haven't watched enough, and yeah. So, he's a really good guy, though. Go check out his channel. He's a really cool dude. And yeah. So, next up on the list is College Lefty. This guy does technically is consistent when the MLB season is actually like in its like big liveliest form like when it's like February or January like right now he's usually not really streaming it so but I have watched him enough and I can officially say this guy is a really fun dude he's very entertaining when he is streaming and overall I just think there's more of a fun value to watching him because he is a baseball player himself he he's called college lefty for a reason he's a lefty thrower he's a southpaw so I'm gonna put him somewhere in the A tier, I think. I find him very entertaining, or that's movie gaming, sorry guys. Call is lefty, I wanna put him in the A tier. He's a very good gut, cool guy, very enjoyable to watch, entertaining. Just overall, very fun streamer. Uh, movie gaming TV, he's next. I don't watch him as much as I should be. I do sometimes check out his videos though, every now and then. And I'd say they're decent, like kinda decent. But I still think I need to watch like a few more vids before I put them up somewhere. So I'm going to put them in the haven't watched enough section until further notice. So next up is Clutch. I'd say Clutch is kind of also in that same area of Atrin where he gets some viewers. He plays a lot of different games, but he's still really fun to watch when he is streaming MLB. And his content is second to none great, especially when he plays with other uh, MLB The Show creators like Coogs or Serenity. So I'm going to put him somewhere in the B tier. He's very entertaining, he's very fun, and overall just super cool. Next up is Daddy Dimu, aka the Tim the Tapman person of the community. I'm gonna put him somewhere in the S tier because this dude is just an absolute legend in the Twitch community, I think, for MLB The Show. He's been streaming it on Twitch for a long time, even before most of the YouTubers switched over to Twitch in late 2018. He was one of the biggest guys, and he still very much is, so I'm gonna put him in S tier. Next up on my list is Dodger Films, man. So, Dodger Films, I actually have a long history with the guy. I've watched him even when he had his, um, his you know, his, when he went to the games and he actually filmed the games. I, I was watching him when those videos were still on his channel. I've been watching him for so long. Even his first, like, 100 episodes of Road of the Show, I've been watching him. Like, I love his content. Generally speaking, when I saw Ty Guys Vin, he put him in the D tier. I was like, are you kidding me? This guy is a legend. He has a million subs now. Obviously not then, but now he has an amazing off-season and on-season softball series where he gets so many people. It's kind of like a reality show at this point. And when he included the YouTubers as well, it really did make for such a fun time. And I think overall, this guy's a legend. And I mean, while I can admit he's not one of the best that will be the show players, he is still really fun to watch with his content. And like I said, this is MLB YouTubers. This is not like the skill of MLB the show players. So I'm going to put him in the S tier. Next up is myself. I'm not going to put myself on this list because, well, I'm no 
I'm no eel maniac, and I also just think it would be a little biased. So I'm gonna put myself in haven't watched enough because I'm gonna be honest, I usually don't watch the vids I edit. I do see snippets, but I don't like watch them. So I'm gonna put myself in haven't watched enough. And next up, of course, Fuzzy. I'm gonna make a little bit of a long talk for this one as well. Like Dodger Films, he actually did appear on my streams a couple of times, you know, just to keep telling me to motivate and keep me going. And honestly, his words did mean so much to me because the dude's awesome. He's such an awesome, genuine, from what I've heard, guy. I really do enjoy his content. He does more, I think, MLB than it will be the show, but when he streams and records it, it's still a lot of fun to watch. And I just think Fuzzy overall, he's got this very wholesome vibe to him that just clicks i think with his fan base and that's why he's one of the biggest and will be the show youtuber excuse me youtubers in general i mean he's still really really fun i played fortnite with him once that was something but moving that aside i just think fuzzy deserves a really high ranking on this list because he's been doing it for so long he's been an amazing the show creator so I'm gonna put him in the S tier, like Dodger Films and David, just because he freaking deserves it, guys. Let's be honest. Next up, Gomes the Legend. I'm gonna put him probably somewhere in the A tier. I've watched a few of his vids. He's very entertaining, I think. I'm kind of between A or B. I'm in the middle, but definitely leaning towards the A tier. He's very fun, entertaining, very underrated, I think, in terms of like just I think his community presence because he doesn't really stream. He does a lot of videos though, and that still, I think, warrants a very good rating on my list, especially because he's a YouTuber. So next up's Jivy. I'm going to put him in D tier. I don't really have too many words to say here other than that. He just doesn't, his content doesn't exactly hit the same, I think, as he used to. He used to be really fun. He used to be super consistent and active in the community. Now I'd say he's kind of like in the lower tier zone, mostly because he isn't really super consistent with the content on the the show. And, I mean, as much as I enjoy his content, he's fun, don't get me wrong, I just haven't watched him in so long, and when I have watched him, like, his recent vids, I'm like, this isn't really something I'm gonna enjoy or really watch or entertain myself with, so I'm gonna put him in detail for that reason. Next up, Healy and Healy6, he actually worked at Best Buy also, along with Coogs when, not with Coogs, but you know, they both worked at Best Buys in their, like, before they were big streamers and all that, and... Honestly, I don't watch Healy6 often. I've seen a couple of his vids, a few, and like, they're entertaining, but I'm still gonna kind of put him in, like, haven't watched enough because I haven't really, actually no, I'll put him in C tier because I've seen enough of his vids to where I can warrant a rating. C tier because he is entertaining. He still uploads, he streams too, which is a, definitely a plus. He also does create very different content every now and then. And that overall gives you a very solid rating of the so, so, so C tier, guys. C tier, I think, is a very solid rating. So, next up's Kyle23. He's definitely grown a lot since his MLB The Show 19 days, so this is going to be a very different ranking, I think. I'm going to put him somewhere in the A tier, I think. Originally, I was thinking about putting him in B because I was like, well, I don't technically see him as a guy I watch every single day of the week, but I still think. The guy grinds so much on YouTube, he deserves to have a way bigger fan base than he has. Like, he has a really big Twitch now, which is really nice, but I think just seeing him upload on YouTube more consistently is something great. The fact that he strives to be better and do better is definitely very good and something I would warrant in a very good light. So he's definitely deserving of that A tier area. So next up's the god himself, Kevin G.O.D. You guys know him. He does BR runs. He can't get 12-0 like me. And he he kind of talks like this. We're going to go 12-0. So I'm going to put him in the S tier. He's very entertaining. Even if he's not the best MLB The Show player, he makes very funny videos. Although I was considering putting him in A because his content isn't exactly, I would say, diverse in the recording department. He does mostly uh, PR bits, but his videos are still really entertaining. And that's what more than makes up for it and puts him in the S tier no matter what. Next up is K Pritz. I'm gonna put him in like D or haven't really I'm gonna put him in D mostly because it's a similar reason to Jimmy. He doesn't really record his stream often. And I'm I don't know, I just don't find him as entertaining as a lot of the other people on this list. Like I just don't see him as a guy I'd like go to and watch all the time, like 
Because, like, the basis of this, like, ranking is more out of, one, the content, two, how diverse the content is for MLB The Show, and three, how consistent they really are. And so, in terms of that, I don't really think he fulfilled all three for me, so I wanted to put him, I'm only putting him in the D tier for that reason. B. Next up is Coogs. I've known this guy from before he was even at 1k subs, guys. Not to flex or anything. Even though Ryan Conart's his best friend has been subbing since one sub. I've known him when he was at like 920, 930 before he was super huge and he was only streaming LB16 during the show or recording that. He was really small and I really loved his content. I've always admired him and the determination he had. I've been following him for so long. And just to be a mod in the stream is something I feel honored about. And now looking at him today, he's super huge now with at least almost at least 69 nice number of K subs and or 69k followers on Twitch and over 140k subs. And this even though it's a YouTuber list, I still think his YouTube cloud really does show how much he has of an influence on the community. He posts the latest content that comes out. He posts VR vids, all-time team vids, Angel in the Outfield, Revolution. He does all these different series ideas, and he manages to mix it up a lot. His content's really diverse. He's entertaining. He's someone I watch every day. And I'm going to put him in the S tier for that reason. He's just so influential. He would be on a Times 100 influential list if he were, if there were a magazine cover for that. Even his di profile pic and his... The description on Twitter hasn't changed. I just think overall, while yes, people change the more they grow, he's still someone I will always come back to watching. He's someone who will always kind of have a place in my heart for LB the show content. So a little biased there, but I still think he's an S tier worthy YouTuber. So next up is McGunsky. This guy's definitely more a Twitch streamer than a YouTuber, but I think when he streams, he's very fun to watch. So I'm gonna put him somewhere in the B tier. He's very fun, very entertaining, but he's not someone I go to every day. He's still really fun, though, not gonna lie. Next up's Mighty Go. I'm gonna put him somewhere in the A tier, I think. The A tier, honestly, because the dude does so much. Like, he mixes it up a lot. He does IRL baseball vids, and in, since it is MLB YouTubers, baseball content does count, and he makes incredible baseball vids, I think. He also does some occasional IRL stuff, too, with himself obviously he talks about sports when he's obviously with his girlfriend does vids and i just think overall he's someone who is very entertaining i've been watching him before he was blew up and now he's at like at least 400k subs and i wouldn't call him more streamer as much as he's more a recorder and overall i just i really enjoy him man i enjoy him he's not quite s tier because i've kind of slowly my interest slowly waned the more i watched him and i definitely think his content is not as strong as it used to be and now that it's kind of more road of the show esque i'm just like i can't really watch the same thing so that's the only reason why he's not quite in the s tier so next up guys is ty guy the guy who obviously did this video first and technically his original credit i'm not sure where to rate him because He's done, he's been through so much. I still will call him the, the Shia LaBeouf of the community, insert video. And I just think overall, he's, I don't know, I guess he's gone so far from where he was. He kind of started off, I remember when I first saw him, it was when he was getting hacked for like the second or third time. I'm not going to go too much in depth because it's a terrible story, but the fact that he decided to still grind and still kind of chase his dream of being a content creator is so huge. And he managed to c complete stuff that was on his bucket list and goals for a long time. Overall, I just think he does deserve a solid plaque on this list because he has grinded. He truly has done deserved everything he's received, I think, overall. And now that he's, he's kind of going on more on YouTube, even though he's definitely more streamer, his YouTube content is one of very fun to watch for what he's doing. So I'm going to put him somewhere, I think, in the B tier. I'm between B or A. I'm going to, I think, put him in A because... He's definitely someone who's an up and cover and someone I do see going very big in the near future. Next up is Ray Gaming Sports. This guy is an OG in the MLB community, YouTubers at least. He's been around for so long, yet he's never really someone who people really say, oh yeah, I recognize that YouTuber. He's someone who kind of like is around, but he's not quite like, you know, like the big guy in town. But 
I, I like his content. His content's fun. He doesn't do a lot of Diamond Dynasty, which does kind of make me hint him away from the A tier, but he's definitely not a guy on the C tier list because he's still really fun and the content that he does make is generally good and he's very consistent with it. And he's overall just someone you want to watch at any time. So I'm going to put him in the B tier list because he is more than deserving of that area. Next up is Rickster. I don't watch him, so not too many huge comments there. I'm gonna put him in the haven't watched enough. Just no, I don't don't watch him really. That's all. Next up is Rival. I've seen a bit of this guy's vids, but honestly, the fact that he did kind of like slowly not make as much content there is really does kind of hurt his chances of being higher on this list. In his prime, I think he was really good and like a B tier list person on here. But for now, I think I'm going to stick him in the D tier along with JB and K Prince because quality is fun. It's just he hasn't done something that's really caught my eye and he doesn't really fulfill the three bases of this list. Next up is Rezzy. Rezzy is kind of fun. He does YouTube as well as Twitch. And I think his YouTube comment is, content is really entertaining overall. I'm going to talk a little more, I think, about this one. Rezzy is just really cool. His personality allows you to kind of connect even if he isn't playing at his best and i think overall this guy is definitely someone definitely in the middle of the road on this list he's c tier by far he definitely is making content that is going to be fun and i think when it will be the show 21 comes around he's going to bounce back a lot more and definitely be someone to keep an eye on for i think blowing up even if he already has a solid fan base i think he's going to have an even more solid fan base in the near future next up scomo i don't really watch him as much as i should so I'm going to put him there, but I, I've seen some of his streams, and he's actually pretty decent. Overall, pretty decent list. Pretty, pretty decent guy on this list. So I'm going to put him on the, I am watched enough, but definitely off to keep an eye on him more. Next up's, uh, what's his face? Oh yeah, Shelfie. I, I don't watch this guy as much as I should, but I've seen enough of him, especially from like his own B18 and 17 days. So I can't say he doesn't have a spot on this list that's like high. He's definitely very entertaining. I like his pack and play vids. Those are really fun. His rank season vids are good as well as his, you know, his BR vids. So I think I'm going to put him somewhere in the B or A tier. I think I'm going to stick him in A though because while I don't watch him every day, he definitely fulfills the daily, you know, the consistency and the content and the very entertaining aspects. But he doesn't quite do it to where it's like S tier, if you know what I mean. He's still really amazing though, and I think definitely deserves the A tier spot on this list. Next up, Sparky. He doesn't really stream as much as I want. Really would love to see him too. He's all are uh, very fun, obviously to listen to. I'd also say the dude is very entertaining when he does make a video or stream. But the thing is, he usually streams, and that means he's not really often on YouTube whenever he was streaming at the time. And so that, that kind of makes me, it kind of saddens me to put him more on the D tier list because he really is fun. His old videos were really incredible, I think. When he introduced the firm, that was one of the best ideas in the community in a while. And it was one of the few esports uh, groups for MLB that actually kind of stayed alive in general. Like people still join the group, people still kind of talk about it, and it's something that I kind of envy. So I kind of want to put him in C, but he doesn't do enough YouTube to where I can be like, sure about it next up uh, i think it's ant i'm not gonna put him anywhere here because i don't watch him so no comment there next up's td barrett td barrett is very fun he does a lot of different sports games he does madden he does 2k he does do mob sometimes and so because he's not really someone who does mob i'm gonna put him somewhere like in the c tier or b tier actually b tier because he is kind of fun. The only reason why I wouldn't put him in A or S is because he doesn't do MLB all the time. He does so many different games. So MLB is not like a primary focus for him or like a niche. But I think when he does do it, he's entertaining. He's fun. Not someone I watch every day, but still very fun. But I don't think... I just don't think he's like somewhere in the A or S tier where he's actually like compelling to watch all the time. And... His, his gameplay ability isn't exactly something I'd say is incredible either, which does kind of affect the videos in general, but he's still kind of decent. I'd still put him above most on this list, so he's definitely a, a B tier list person. Next up is Toke. Toke, nasty. I'm not a fan of this guy as much as I used to. A lot of that is more because he's a very pay-to-win guy, I feel like. 
which does make the the gameplay less fun i think he's i think his personality is good but overall i just can't really watch his vids without thinking like wow this is someone who put a lot of money in this game or just got all these cards quickly i kind of didn't see the grind aspect either which does kind of make me want to make me put him on like the b tier spot on this list I just don't actually know I'm gonna put him in C because his personality definitely is really good and he still uploads but it's the fact that he kind of doesn't exactly give you a, a really fulfilled or earned video journey is what makes me put him in C tier next up's the show times he's been rising ever for a long time I'm gonna put him in the B tier I think spot he's been uploading he's fun he's entertaining I like his content a lot I definitely think he has potential to continue being one of the best on YouTube if he keeps it up. I mean, so far he's kind of small, but I could see him growing more in the future. Overall, pretty solid YouTuber. Next up's Turbo. I'm going to put him in the C or B tier. I'm stuck between the two, honestly. I'm really stuck, so I'm just going to talk before I put him on the list somewhere. So, I think Turbo, he's so fun. I really loved his streams on YouTube and Twitch. It was really sad for me when I saw his tw his tweet that he was going to pursue something else in the form of engineering. And that was one of his big degrees and all that. So he's been grinding for that in real life. So that kind of has taken away the time he could be streaming. But honestly, I respect him a lot because that's kind of something I want to do in the future, guys. I might be streaming less just to pursue something I love in college. So just letting you guys know, I'll probably do something similar with Turbo Day. Sorry, I did not mean to go see but anyways, when he does make videos, they're very fun to watch, they're well edited, he always does a good job, I think, and his streams are always something that give me a smile on my face, so I'm going to put him in the B tier for that reason. He, he's not super consistent, though, which is why I'm leaning towards C, so I'm going to put him in the B section for now, maybe B minus if I added a list there, but I'm going to put him in B overall, because he's still fun. Now, Twin Gaming, he's the next guy on this list. I'm kind of thinking about putting him in the S tier list for a lot of reasons, actually. The, th the things I like about Twin Gaming are that he is very fun. He, he made some really fun videos that I always come back to. One of those being that 20 in 1 VR run bit he did for OB60. I was one of the best fits for OB show I've ever seen. I think because of that, I want to put him somewhere in this S tier because he's number one, he's funny. He has a great personality for streaming and recording, and he just makes good content. Very great content. Next up on this list is, I believe his name is, Serenidad, or Serenity. He is fun. I watch him sometimes. Every now and then I'll watch and I'll be like, this guy's got an entertaining voice. He's very fun. He's cool. Very, very approachable, I think, in general. He doesn't upload as much as I think I'd want him to, so that's going to kind of push me more into the C tier. I think when he is consistent, though, when he is, like, on his game actually recording all the time and not, like, only being an OB show streamer, I think the dude's an easy A tier. Maybe yes. For now, though, I think I'm going to stick him somewhere in the B to, to C tier, leaning towards B, though, because he's kind of consistent. Next up's Hunt38. I think the guy is more definitely a... Madden guy than I'm MLB the show guy so for that reason only I'm gonna put him in the D tier he's entertaining to watch but overall I don't see him as someone who I go to all the time but I think when he does MLB he's good he's entertaining so I'm gonna put him somewhere in the D tier because overall I'd like to see more all right if I saw more MLB the show from him and I saw more of those like really good content cool original ideas which he has done in the past to some degree I would definitely put him higher on this list than like a B or A tier. So anyways, that's going to do it for this vid. I hope you guys enjoyed my tier list rankings. And yeah, credit goes to Ty Guy because he did this thing first. And this is, after all, I think his list. So yeah, tell me what you guys think about this list. Tell me who you would have changed. And yeah, without further ado, I'll see you all in the next vid or stream. Have a good one. Peace.